If you hate ads, I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Ink Dependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and this is an unboxing from Birmingham Pen Co. I uh, just got this in last night, and I waited to open it just for just for you. So, we're gonna get in here, we're gonna take a look at these inks, we're gonna swatch them real quick, and that's gonna be this unboxing. So, let's get in here. Trusty Benchmade Contigo, opening the box. I do like that they have this, uh, this open this uh, open the box from this side uh, situation for the best experience. This is new since I think last time I got, the, I got one of these, it didn't have that. No, nope, didn't quite go through. It's hard to tell with this fibery tape sometimes. There we go. Okay. All right. Look at that little presentation. Very nice. We got the Birmingham Pinko uh, card, which has this nice cork situation going on. We've got uh, here a postcard. <laughs> nice. You're supposed to put your correspondence. Put your correspondence over here. All right. uh, let's see this with this fun paper clip. I'll put that there. My cat will hunt it later. Thanks so much for this opportunity to earn your business to get today at the Birmingham Pen Company. As an operation with two full-time employees, we really appreciate the support. We've prepared this package for you with care prior to handing it to our local carrier. If there's anything we can do, something we can do, to improve this experience for you, we're, welcome, we're available to help at. Complete satisfaction with this purchase is guaranteed in every regard. Thank you again for becoming a meaningful part of the Birmingham Pen Company story. For keeping our lights on another day. We've got it to Nick. That's nice. All right, so is that. A little Tomoe River to test pen and ink on. We could do that. Uh, and then this has our has our list of things. Also, it says, add extra crisp inks. That's interesting. I did not make that note. They did. Okay. Let me take this off. This off. Uh, hmm. I don't know that they added extra honey, extra crisp inks. Let's see, are any of these ones I didn't didn't want to get? Huh. Well, we'll see. I just checked my order online, and I ordered seven, and I got seven, I think. So, I'm not sure they added extras. This is a nice way to package these things. I really like this material that they wrap it up in. It's a good material. <laughs> Solve the puzzle. Enter coupon code solution during checkout for one free bottle of fountain pen ink. Got some, got some uh, dots and dashes there. I have an idea about what that is. Feel free to solve it with a friend. No prior purchase history is necessary for coupon activation. Well, there you go. Solve it with a friend. Uh, and then, this is interesting. Thank you for the privilege to prepare this package for you today. Our goal is to earn your business as a customer for life. Well, all right. Interesting. This is a nice feeling paper. Look at this stuff. You can see the fibers and stuff. Seems like a lot of packets, but it's nice. All right, put this over here. Okay, so one thing that Birmingham does not do is put the name of the ink on the outside of the box, which is fine because, I mean, I'm sure they buy the boxes in a big bulk and they don't want to deal with, um, you know, individual... Uh, boxes and like not having the right box for the ink or whatever. Oh, it's the wrong end. Whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, so here we have Rotten Seaweed. I bought all of these. I kind of shopped for them all online during one of my live streams. Uh, this is what I ended up with. These are all crisp formula because those are the ones it turns out I like. Uh, I didn't care for the, the Swift formula at all. They bleed and feather and stuff. and It's not my jam. Uh, the, uh, the other formula they have is Rich which I only have one of, and it's actually quite nice, so I have no problem with Rich at all. Let's uh, get our drying towel and our bit of water. All right, rotten seaweed, what you got for me? We're using here an oversized coloring book, coloring pad for this. All right, looks cool. It's about what I was expecting. Kind of a slightly yellowish, seaweedy kind of green. Dig it. Dig it. Let's see what's next. Come on. Open. 
<laughs> Sometimes these boxes get this little flap stuck under here. And I just cannot get it out. Are these all upside down? Or am I just opening? I'm opening every one from the bottom. Let's try this. <laughs> we'll see if that works. All right. Here we have uh, Birmingham brushwood. I like that. There's brown in the bottle. You see against the rim of the bottle there. Looks really nice. There's the brushwood. Good sort of nutty kind of brown. You know I love a brown ink. And this is a good time of year for these kind of murky inks. Uh, it seems like a time of year when there's leaves changing on trees. And like your garden is dying back. And everything is starting to look a little bit brown. You wouldn't believe it. I opened this one upside down again. <laughs> it's like a gift. All right. This is smoke box. Which, as I remember, is a real, like, actually, it's, hmm, I think it's supposed to be a gray. But we'll see how this looks. I love a good gray, so I'm looking forward to that. Oh, that's a nice gray. Very sooty indeed. It's a very sooty gray. Which I'm into. Oh, this green is actually drying to a really cool color. They're taking a long time to dry, but... This, uh, this coloring paper is not meant to have things just soak into it, so I'm not surprised at all. And I am putting down a lot of ink in these swatches. So don't hold that against it if you're looking for a quick dry. <laughs> Upside down again! It's like the worst superpower. Alright, burnt walnut. You can see I was on a bit of a, uh, like a, a murky inks kind of tear. Let's get closer. Yeah, so this is one that I almost didn't get because we thought maybe it would be too close to uh, brushwood. But it is not. It is a very different kind of brown. Burnt walnut looks like it's actually kind of a marriage of these two to this. And you get kind of a... Let's like let the ink move around a little bit. And an interesting color there. I like that. So far, so good. All right, is this going to be upside down? Let's see. Hey, I broke my streak. It's right side up. <laughs> All right, this is Damselfly, which as you can see in here is going to be a nice bright blue. I love a Damselfly. A Damselfly is basically a lot like a dragonfly, except more delicate. You can see them buzzing around marshes and fields and all that kind of thing. I've always thought dragonflies were extra cool. Pretty darn neat. They had a lot of them where I grew up. It always made me happy to see dragonflies. All right. Two more. That one's a real departure from this uh, from this group here, huh? Hey, this one's up right side up as well. And we have here Honey Creeper. Another kind of, this is going to be a tealy blue. As I remember it. These did take about a week to ship out. Once they uh, got in the mail, they got here very quickly through FedEx, which only only messed up the outside package, not the inside one. I'm glad they double packed these things. But uh, you know, it did take a little bit of time. But as it said in that thing, they are a two-person company. So sometimes you get a lot of orders. Like if you introduce 16 new inks and then have a big sale, I got all of these for nine bucks a piece on their website. Uh, link in the description. Go check them out. Tell them I said hi. That you saw stuff here. And here we have Heron, which I don't remember what color this is. It ought to be sort of a, a grayish blue, I think, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Oh, it's a it's a blue black almost. That's a very dark blue. Like a night heron, I guess. Yeah, it looks good. So there you are. Two browns, a gray, a murky green, sort of a turquoise, a dark blue, and a blue black. Uh, only the first one has dried. <laughs> the rest of these are still waiting to dry. Which is okay, as I said, on this paper. It is not really meant to soak up ink at all. It is fairly, uh, fairly heavy paper. But, uh, yeah. Looking good. 
looking good. Okay, so look out for these on the blog. I'll probably also be talking about them in live streams and that sort of thing. So check out live streams for some dried ink uh, colors. Or maybe I'll throw one up at the end here. I don't know. Watch to the end. That's uh, that's your lesson. Okay, folks. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me uh, if you're into some of these. And uh, I will see y'all in another video. Peace out.